Lindsay. Welcome to Love Them Well Homeschool. I'm a part of a beautiful collaboration this week hosted by Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles, and it is all about women of the Bible. So lots of YouTube mamas have hopped on here and they are sharing a story of a special woman from the Bible, and mine is Jochebed. Now, a lot of people don't know who Jochebed is, and she is Moses' mother. Her name is not mentioned until later on in the Bible, and so you don't hear about her right away. And the heroic things that she did to make her son safe, there's so much to her story that is even untold in the Bible but that we can infer from the text. And I'm really excited to share our version of Jacobed's story with you through Barbie dolls. My daughter wanted to help me with this collaboration and we decided to use Barbies to act out the story. So I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to click below to the playlist, check out Ingrid's channel, it's wonderful. Thank you Ingrid for hosting this and I hope that you enjoy the story of Jacobed. My name is Jochebed, and this is my story. Jochebed, Jochebed, did you hear the horrible news? My dear friend, what is the matter? I just heard that the Pharaoh is going to take all the baby boys and throw them into the river so that they don't get stronger and overpower him. That is so horrible. Let's just pray to our God. The baby is coming. I'm here to help. It's going to be okay. Take a deep breath and push. Oh, Jacobet, it's a beautiful baby boy. A boy? Oh no. I'm so scared. Please don't take him. I follow God. There's no way I'm taking him from you. In fact, I'll help you hide him. I won't report that he's born. I'll tell them that he died in childbirth. My baby, I will call you Moses. God has given you to me and I will protect you. Mommy, sometimes he cries so loudly. Yes, sweetheart, and when he does, we're going to try to hide his screams. Okay, Mommy. Shh, shh baby Moses. Oh, dear God, I don't know if I can keep him quiet much longer. It's been three months and he's only getting older. They will soon find out about him, I know. I feel like I could make a basket and put it in the river, right near where the princess bathes. I will do it when I'm on duty there, by the water. Please, Lord, may she find the basket. Please, may she find it and find favor with Moses. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm making a basket to put Moses in. Babe, tomorrow morning is the time. I'm going to take this basket down by the river, but I need you to do something for me. What is it? I need you to stand by the water and make sure that he is safe. You are still his big sister, so I need you to watch over him. Make sure that he gets into good hands and that the basket doesn't float down the river. I will, Mommy. Oh, Moses, I love you. And I know that God will protect you. He has big things for your life. I'll miss you so much. Goodbye, baby. Dear Princess, it's time for your bath. Servant, what is that over there in the reeds? Oh my, it's one of the Hebo babies. What are you gonna do? I will tell my father I'm keeping him. I know of a Hebo woman who just had a baby and she can nurse your baby for you. That's a fantastic idea. It will give my father some more time of accepting this idea. Lord, please keep my baby safe. I'm so sad. I miss him so much. Mommy, mommy! What happened, baby? Was he safe? Yes. He is, and guess what? What, baby? Mrs. Jacobet. Oh, Princess, yes. I found this baby in the water, and I know you just lost yours. Would you mind nursing him for me? When it comes time for him to be weaned, he will come in the palace. I will take such good care of him, princess. I knew he was special the moment I saw him. Dear God, you protected my baby. And not only is he safe, but now I get to take care of him until he is of age to go live in the palace. Thank you, Lord, for this amazing gift, for keeping my baby safe. You are an amazing God. <laughs> 